Hey everyone, back with some fans of my own. I have a couple that I want to test, and this one I got earlier this week. I got this one, or yeah, I should say last week, late in last week. Well, it was last week I got it at uh, Habitat Restore in uh, Tosa. The guy there, uh, he uh, that works in fans uh, put this one aside for me so I picked it up this uh, brown and brass bright brass faceplate hunter original and I'm just loving the way this thing looks with the blades it's an interesting light kit too that was put on this so here's what it looks like all right Okay, and 97.97 amps, 110 watts, and a power factor of one. There's two 60 watt bulbs in there. So, okay, here's low. I just want to. I want to check to see what it's, how it starts up on low, make sure it's not too low or it's going to stall out, like say capacitor is failing and it stalls, so one reason to test it to see where it starts on low, <laughs> see if it starts, and that comes in the decade box, which I'll then do. So 0 0.31 amps, not bad current draw for low speed. And I like this low speed. This looks pretty good. It's like restaurant low. All right. Um, 31 watts, maybe 32. 0.87, that's like close to a power factor of one. More like just over three quarters. All right, bring it to medium. Medium. Point six three sixty eight watts power factor of one already. We'll call that that's close in the ninety percent range is pretty much a power factor of one. And there's a uh, All right, 0.97 is what it draws on high. This one's actually rated for 1.1 amps. So there's a little bit of a variance. Let's see the watts, 110 watts with a power factor of one. As far as the airflow goes, I can feel the air from here and I know what these do. These are definitely I would claim these to be a K55 type category. Yeah, this is definitely above residential spinner motor type stuff. This is, yeah, Hunter Originals are quite powerful fans. So I'm gonna do spin down, see what that's like. Okay. Oh, it's still long spin down. Yeah, well, that tells me there's good bearings in this fan. That they're not stiff and the bearings aren't gummed up with old oil either. So, well, I was also sure to put some oil in here beforehand. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I'm gonna do reverse. Flip it reverse. Medium low. And let's do low. Low reverse. So what it's drawing. Pretty much the same current drawn low. Okay. There's medium. It's a drawing on medium point. A little bit lower current draw on medium in reverse. And here's high reverse. Yep, same current draw on high, but medium has a different current draw. All right. Okay, I'm gonna flip it back. And we'll do it with a decade box. And we'll see where it starts. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it starts on five. And of course, I get a lower speed on five microfarads than factory. So this might take a little higher capacitance if I use a wall control. So that's five. Let's see what six does. Okay. Seven. That's close. That's like right right at where factory low is on seven microfarads. Now I do have a seven, nine, and 16. We'll see what that does when I get up that high. So here's eight. Now this would also work, eight, 12, 20. We'll see if that works too. I mean, this still works. This is still acceptable for low. I mean, seven or eight, it's still acceptable. Nine, ten, eleven. Let's see what's twelve. So here's okay. So if I did eight twelve, here's your medium low on an eight twelve twenty. Eight twelve thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, so I could go 7, 9, and uh, 16, or 17, 18, 19, and 20, but I'm, but if I wanted a better range of speeds, I would, this I could definitely put an 8, 12, 20 on. I would definitely do that. 8, 12, and 20, or this fan here. Yep, because this is perfect. This runs with factory medium. Now let's go up 22, 25, 28, here's 30, let's do 30. So 70.79 on 30, 31, 33, 35, 38, and 40. 
for it. So no resonant frequency at all with this fan, which is nice. Okay. And all right. Now I'm going to try to see how noisy or quiet the solid state variable is. I'm going to shut this window right here before I do it. I can't really. Guys grinding outside. Let me see if I can hear it. I can't even hear anything from the fan so far. Wow, silent. Usually around this speed. Oh, this is like bedroom quiet. I can't even hear the hum or buzz unless I really pay attention to it or listen to it close up. If it, I'm just in the room with it on, you know, at like medium low, I'm not going to just notice it unless I at really look at it. So this is a really good solid state fan. Okay, and it draws slightly less, slightly less on the solid state than high by a nose hair, but then again, it's literally right there. It's, again, it's so close. All right. Well, there's one more thing I gotta do since All right, I'm gonna do zero to high and see what the inrush is like. Okay, so it jumps up to an amp and it goes back to uh, 0.97. So a little bit of an inrush, but not much. Pretty good fan. All right, other than that, that is actually all I have for this, uh, this Brown and Brass Hunter original with this uh, light kit on it. So, uh, yep, I'll be back with uh, more fans. So uh, keep on watching and subscribing, and I'll see you later.